My strongest memory about being a Girl Scout, I would have to say, is the uniform. I came from a family that didn't have very much, and um, to dress up like that was, uh, made me feel important. Now that I'm a Girl Scout leader, I can see my daughter making new friends, feeling part of a team. She is um, eager and willing to help. It's her duty, she says. She's a Girl Scout, and she's proud. And I'm proud to have instilled that in her. Girl Scouting has helped generations of girls grow strong in body, mind, and spirit. Through the safe, nurturing, girl-only environment of Girl Scouting, girls from all backgrounds have gained the confidence, determination, and skills needed to succeed later in life. And what makes Girl Scouting work? That's where you come in. Under the guidance of caring adult volunteers like you, girls from 5 to 17 get to experience the fun and adventure of Girl Scouting. Being a Girl Scout leader helps you as a person grow as well. When you encourage girls to try different things, it's just so wonderful and so gratifying. Girl Scout leaders are the critical ingredient to us being successful in the Girl Scout movement. Uh, you have such an important role in terms of helping girls recognize their dreams, their skills, their innate capabilities. And so I think it goes back to believing in yourself, believing that you have gifts to give and share with other people. In delivering this precious gift to girls across the United States and to U.S. Girl Scouts overseas, you sustain the dreams of Girl Scouting's founder, Juliet Gordon Lowe. This fiercely independent and forthright visionary launched the Girl Scout movement out of an unshakable belief that character training, skill building, and good citizenship were essential for young girls destined to become the mothers and guides of the next generation. The girls really love hearing about Juliet Lowe. They like the stories about her and how Girl Scouts got started, how she reached out to girls of different abilities, and how she helped girls to learn to respect and appreciate each other no matter what their differences were. The ethical values that Juliet Lowe articulated in 1912 continue to shape the direction of the Girl Scout movement in the 21st century. I think the most gratifying part of being a Girl Scout leader has really been seeing and watching the girls growing in their friendship and really looking past the different cultures and the different economic backgrounds and ethnicities. It's really nice to see them bond no matter what. To make Girl Scouting as inclusive as possible, girls are welcome to participate in many different ways. In accepting the benefits of membership, every Girl Scout agrees to live by the Girl Scout promise and law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. The simple language of the Girl Scout law makes it accessible to girls at every age level. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. The Girl Scout program is flexible and fun and provides a wide range of opportunities for girls to plan and carry out developmentally appropriate activities in partnership with adults. The four program goals describe how girls can benefit and grow through their experiences in Girl Scouting. The goals provide clear direction to the adults who help each girl discover her talents, build her confidence and feel good about herself, form meaningful relationships and understand the needs, rights and feelings of others, strengthen her values and develop the courage of her convictions, and take action to improve her world. The adult volunteer serves as guide and mentor, encouraging girls to explore options and voice opinions. And what would you like to do with our cookie proceeds? Itopia? Go hunting in the woods. Go hiking in the woods, that's really good. Christina? Skateboarding. Skateboarding. That's a good one. Yes. Of course, younger Girl Scouts will need a little more prompting and direction. As girls gain the confidence to generate ideas, initiate projects, and follow them through, 
you will take on more of an advisory role, providing support as needed, and reality checks when those bright ideas get a little too elaborate. We said we wanted to go someplace, we have some money in our troop treasury, let's do some brainstorming. What about a cruise? Right, great idea. What about an Alaskan cruise? Okay. That sounds yeah. better. That sounds really good. Okay. Yeah. What else? What other ideas? What about a cruise around the world? Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Cruise around yeah. the world. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's. These are all terrific ideas, and cruise around the world sounds very exciting. But maybe when we look at our troop treasury, we might have to go just a little closer to home. We can do whale watching. Whale watching. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah. 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 like cruise. Okay. Yeah. Not quite around the world, but sounds good. Okay. It may surprise you to learn just how many good ideas your girls have. All across the United States, in small towns, sprawling suburbs, and urban centers, Girl Scouts are applying their inspired ideas to make great things happen. It takes a fair amount of effort behind the scenes to allow girls to take center stage in the planning process. But no one expects you to do it all by yourself. There are many people uh, that can help you. There is your co-leader who comes to the meetings, uh, helps you at the beginning of the year to plan what the girls are going to be doing. There is the service leader manager or the community director that answer questions that might come up during the course of the year. And then there are those in the community that help financially. You'll be surprised at how many people are willing to uh, offer their services. I find that the best way to get families involved is to keep them informed. I do a newsletter for each meeting, which lets the parents know what's going on, what's coming up, and some of the things that we have in mind. I also always ask them if they can volunteer to do anything. It means a lot to the girls for their families to be involved, to feel like their families are part of the troop. You really need to keep yourself informed. Uh, by attending your monthly leader meetings, you will do that. You will meet your community support team. You will meet other leaders in your community who can help you with fresh and new ideas. You'll find out what's going on on the council level, what's going on in your community, and you'll just feel uh, a sense of, of belonging and a sense of support. I've been a leader for about um, seven years. I started with my older daughter and the friendships that I've bonded you know and established with the other leaders has been something that is really really nice you know helping each other assisting each other and talking about our different troops it's a sisterhood it really is in addition to all the people you can call on for support Girl Scouts of the USA provides a wealth of program resources for every age level from field tested fun and games to serious discussion of sensitive issues, you'll find everything you need to create a safe, stimulating, and satisfying experience for girls. Most leaders are not going to read the books from cover to cover, but it's great to know that you have these resources at your fingertips. Anything you need to know about the Girl Scout program, you can find in the various books. Now, if I have any questions, if I'm looking for ideas or activities, I can always go to the Girl Scout website. And the girls love using the Just For Girls part of the website. There's always something new for them to explore. The best piece of advice I could give new leaders is to be flexible, to relax, and to enjoy the girls. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. And it's so rewarding. And that's what's important. You feel when you walk away from there that you've gotten something back. I think new leaders should know that where we're headed in the future is wherever the girls want to take us. My leaders are always there to listen to people and to help them out and I think that's something that I've also tried to take from them. I always try to live up to what I know they would do. She helped me to understand that I can do whatever I want in life and that if I just keep trying no matter what others think of me that I can do anything. She is a really good way of making everyone feel that they are just worth a million dollars. My lady is a great leader. She's very enthusiastic about our projects and activities and an easy person to talk to and she's a lot of fun.